Good morning, you guys. It is day six of Ramadan and I am about to get ready for my iftar dinner. This will be my very first time hosting an iftar dinner. And at first I'm like, wait a minute. So I can't do this on my own. Bloop, 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 bloop. Mama, I need you in California ASAP pronto. I had to make sure my mom could be here a couple days before the dinner and we're also catering food from hummus bean. They're actually coming here to cook the food so it's super fresh for when guests arrive. So I'm super excited. A little too excited, obviously. My God. The iftar dinner is in about three hours, so we need to get ready. And let's do a little chat because I need to update you guys on the past week. My mom and I actually stayed up super late last night prepping for everything because we didn't want to wake up stressed. And you guys thank God for my mom because this past week has been so incredibly busy for me. And she literally cleaned the house and prepped almost everything herself. All I had to do was rearrange the furniture and set up the dining table. This week has just been crazy busy with Ramadan and prepping for the iftar dinner. And I've been really busy and trying to catch up on campaigns that are due. Also, I've been daily vlogging on TikTok, so just filming those daily videos and editing them and getting them up the same day has been taking up a lot of my time. I literally haven't been able to post my TikToks till like 1 a.m. Because one, my sleeping schedule is completely messed up. I've been staying up all night, sleeping till noon. And then by the time I get the house in order and prep iftar, it's already time to eat. And then I'm busy editing for like two hours after that. So it's just been a mess out here. My schedule has been all over the place, but thankfully fasting hasn't been hard on me this year. I've had way harder Ramadans in the past. I've talked about this on my TikTok, but I used to be on a competitive dance team, you guys, and I used to fast while running miles in the sun in 110 degree weather when I was in high school. So now that I work from home, Ramadan is honestly a lot easier for me. Arab moms are honestly superheroes because I don't know how they're able to host dinners for 20 to 50 people while fasting, while cooking all these Arab dishes, while cleaning, while decorating. Like if I'm hosting a dinner and worried about prepping and decorating and getting everything ready, like thank God I'm catering food today because especially with how busy my schedule is, I would not have been able to do it. My mom is also cooking a couple dishes on the side. So the food is going to be so good. I've actually catered with hummus bean before. It's a Middle Eastern halal restaurant in Anaheim, California and their food food is so freaking good. They actually catered for our proposal as well and everyone loved the food. I'll show you guys the decor and the full setup once I'm done getting ready. So the original plan after my iftar dinner was to head back to Vegas with my parents. I already started packing earlier on this week and everything, but honestly, Hassan and I's schedules are all over the place. We've been so busy and we have so much going on right now that we decided we're just gonna wait a few more days to go to Vegas. And we ended up just renting out a car from my parents to head back to Vegas with for the meantime. The reason my parents can't stay here past Monday is because my brother has to go back to school. And if we go to Vegas right now, we're honestly gonna be so busy with work and so behind on everything that we're not even gonna get to spend time with family. Also, you guys know how it is. After hosting, the house is a mess. We wouldn't have had time to clean. Our closet finally, finally came in as well. But our entire closet system has just been sitting in the garage. We also have a lot of furniture in there that we're trying to sell. So the garage is literally overflowing. San also has some real estate things that popped up that he has to be here for on Monday. So it was just not working out going to Vegas right after the iftar dinner. Also, you guys, I actually haven't announced this on any platforms yet, but we finally booked our honeymoon. And I know what some of you are thinking, girl, you got married like seven months ago. What do you mean honeymoon? Look, the last thing I wanted to do with all that traveling is travel some more. I really just wanted to come back, settle in, get our house furnished, and then travel again. So we only booked the first destination so far. We're gonna stay, wait, should I tell you guys where we're going? Or should I keep it a surprise? I'm not gonna tell you yet. I'm not gonna tell you yet. We're going to three, maybe four countries. The first country we're staying in for a whole 10 days because I know we're gonna be jet lagged and Hassan actually wants to see the real estate business there. I'll tell you the first place because you guys are probably gonna guess it anyways, but we're actually gonna start off in Dubai before going to the other honeymoon destinations. 
And we're staying in Dubai for a whole 10 days because one, I know we're gonna be jet lagged and super tired after all that traveling. And two, Hassan actually has some work to do over there for real estate and he just wants to see the business side of Dubai. So we're kind of knocking out two in one when we get there. And then the other two countries, we're only gonna stay there for four days each because they're gonna be all inclusive resorts on a private island and four days is more than enough for that. We only booked the flight to Dubai so far, but that's just another thing on our to-do list of a thousand and things to do that we need to get done in the next couple days. It's gonna be a really busy next few months because as soon as I get back from our honeymoon, my sister Naham is getting married this year. So we have her bridal shower, then her bachelorette, then her wedding back to back. I'm trying to decide between two dresses for tonight's iftar dinner. I'll show you guys both of them. One of them is like a coral red dress and it's definitely the most dressy and the nicest. But there's also a beige silky dress that I really, really like and it's the most most comfortable and that one complements my body the most and it also matches the colors of my dinner which are white gold and nude so honestly I'm probably gonna go with that one and then I'll save the other dress for when I go out for iftar dinner but we'll see let's finish getting ready so I can show you guys the setup okay makeup is pretty much done I just have to apply lipstick a little closer to the dinner but now it's time to do this hair and Bob is in town you know what that means I'm not about to do my own hair <laughs> let's go Okay, Bob is actually taking a nap and I didn't want to wake him up. So we're going to wait a little bit to do the hair. But for now, I'm going to set up some more things. I'm just going to lay out the waters on the countertop. And then all our cushions and our heater are indoors right now because it's been so windy. So we're going to wait till right before the iftar to put all of this in the balcony. These are so cute. We're gonna use them as coasters for when we have tea and coffee later. It's from a small business called Mandela by Rida. All right, daddy is awake. Hey father, how was your nap? <laughs> okay, we're gonna blow dry my hair really quick and then I'll get dressed and we'll get the ball rolling. Hassan just got home with all the dessert. We have our women, we have atayif, we have gnefa. We have, <laughs> we're doing like some charcuterie boards and stuff. <laughs> Duh. You already know the drill, father. Anyways, okay, we're gonna get this hair done and then I'll show you guys all the food. I can never. My dad has tried teaching me how to do a blowout and I can just never get my hair to look like it does when he blow dries it. You got skills, father. No, Ow! <laughs> <laughs> we have mawarid and jaleb. We're just adding ice. We already added water. You guys, look at how cute these Ramadan Kareem little sticks are. All right, you guys, dress is on. I decided to go with this beige dress because it's the most comfortable and it matches the colors perfectly of my dinner. Let me just tie it into a bow. Okay, baby, do you like it to the side? Do you like it like this to the side or you like it center or you like it all the way back? Not all the way back. Is it side? Yeah, it's probably nice. Side, okay. Even middle looks good too, honestly. It looks beautiful either way. I don't know. I feel like middle because there's already a knot up here. You know? You know what you look like? What? Those uh, people that do karate. You said you like this dress the most, hater. I like it. I like it to the side like this. It's like, you know, I'm not even trying. I'm not even trying to do anything with it. <laughs> 
And then I'm gonna wear these flats. They are so cute. I got them as a PR package from Dolce Vita. I'm obsessed. I feel like they go perfectly with this dress. Oh, that was loud. Oops. And then perfume. This is one of my favorites, YSL Libre. Ah, it smells so good. So here was my other option that I was trying to decide on for tonight. I posted a reel on Instagram trying on the different dresses and a lot of you actually said to wear the orange one but honestly this beige one is a lot more comfortable and i feel like it matches tonight's occasion more for an at-home iftar plus it matches the colors of the table really well and the decor i'll just wait for a day where we're going out for iftar to wear this one all right here is the final look this dress is from amazon by the way i needed the quick shipping and i was too lazy to shop anywhere else so i will have this linked in my storefront for you guys but let's go upstairs Sand is setting up the furniture outside right now. You guys, it's been so windy that we had to move all the cushions inside, but luckily it just stopped raining. We're gonna sit here at the end of the night for some dessert and tea. We're setting up the dessert table right now and Chef Fadi just got here. So he's gonna cook some stuff out in the balcony. I'm excited. Here is the balcony setup. We're gonna put this inflatable up in a second. Dessert table is looking so good. Yum. We have a taif. We have a charcuterie board. We have aweme. I love aweme, you guys. Some fruit. Mamul. Sorry. Everything looks so good. Now we wait till they try it. I made it a Persian way. Inflatable is going up. You gotta turn on these lights too. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was gonna get the food. Featuring Ovid. <laughs> <laughs> that like a, uh, it's like a ride or something? Uh, it's an inflatable. It says that it was on Kitty Line. <laughs> 
Lights on. So this thing was full of stars and moons, but they're all over the place now. Yeah, from the, the wind. from the wind. The inflatable through the window looks so Some more dessert. Ooh. Looks so good. I mean, the food honestly was mom and fatty. Mm -hmm. But you know, the decor, I, I, part, I definitely partaked in that, partook in that. She loves the dim vibe. I love it. Yeah. She like she dims her it her looks screen. Really good. Yeah, it's a common. The girls are here. Bye.
guys, it's the end of the night. It's almost 1 a.m. How was the dinner? Did you enjoy it? Oh, it was okay. Okay. Mm, I mean, it's not bad. Very nice. Yeah, my mom said very nice. Uh, it was okay. Thank you so because she... So delicious. <laughs> so, so, so طيب يعني. وهي طبختي حرام بس ما كذبت yeah, علي. I worked so hard. قالت لي هي طبخي طال. Worked so hard making all those dishes for everyone. Oh. Just kidding. But shout out to Fadi from Hummus Bean for catering that bomb ass food. Shout out to my mama for prepping everything for me and helping out with everything because I couldn't have done it without her. Shout out to Baba for coming to California for to do hair hair to do my hair just <laughs> and just being here. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. And Ramadan Kareem. Yes, Ramadan Kareem. Like I said, it's the sixth day of Ramadan, but by the time I post this video, we're probably gonna be towards the end of Ramadan because that's just how YouTube works. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll see you later. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Ramadan Kareem. <laughs>